Hollywood Red. And you're watching Gross Magazine. Stop touching my ass. This is Jeremy here with Gross Magazine, here tonight at Scully's in Columbus, Ohio, with the boys from Hollywood Red. How are you guys doing tonight? Good. How you doing? Uh, no, outstanding, okay. So you guys just had an audition last month with America's Got Talent. How did that go, and how did you guys get there? Um, it went really well. You know, we, we thought we saw a talent competition, and we, we always look for ways to, to, to promote ourselves and, and to promote ourselves to a wider audience. So we just took that opportunity, and um, I think it went relatively well. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we 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 had to strip down. We had to do an all acoustic thing, so that was a lot new, to, uh, like really new, and um, it, it kind of took a different approach to our music. But I think overall, they seemed to enjoy it, and whether we made it or not, it was it was a pretty cool experience that uh, that we didn't that not a lot of people get to do. So, so your EP came out in, on uh, October 26. You had a release party. How did that go? That went uh, really well. Since it was around Halloween time, we had a big like costume party theme. And we just had all of our friends and family there, and it was just a big party. And we made a lot of money that night at the venue we played at, out, out of merchandise and everything and CDs. It was actually the first venue that we sold out on our own. Nice. So it was, that, was, that was the biggest milestone, yeah. I think, that we've made Absolutely. so far as a band. And it's been, it's been awesome after that, and we've had a lot of, uh, you know, we kept going and kept progressing after that, and hopefully it'll continue. What's it like having a band with such young members in a, in a predominantly, you know, 20 to 40 year old uh, range or 30 to 40 even? Uh, well, I mean, uh, I mean, you kind of like get looked down on because you're younger than everybody else. And when they look at you, they think, oh, these are just a bunch of group of high school kids who probably suck and are probably just a garage band. But then that usually changes after we play. But that's how it usually. Yeah, it's actually really cool to see how like they react to when we actually start playing our songs because they're like, oh, like just some kid who wants to be in an 80s band and a bunch of other kids that are just like trying to be rock stars. But then they see us play and we're actually we actually like blow their minds. A lot of the bands get really upset too because they all feel like they're entitled to like these shows and like these spots on these shows. So they get really pissed when a high school band gets on the shows. So yeah. we have to deal with a lot of hate from that too. Well, I mean, and it's kind of understandable too, but we we're, we are younger and we haven't been in the scene as much. So we have to, we have to prove ourselves. And it's, I think it's awesome to have that challenge of proving ourselves to, to more established bands as being, you know, a, a really young, young band. So... And it's cool because they they all grew up kind of in the in the genre er, in the era of the genre of music that we all listen to. So it's cool hearing stories about like how so and so went to see the original members of Guns N' Roses play or like yeah. just stuff like that and crazy stories. And I mean, it's awesome. It really is. It's you know, bad. you guys being so young, and you mentioned something about you know when you're older, you probably only have one person left. Uh, you see bands over and over today changing out members constantly. Yeah. What do you think you guys have uh, differently that's going to keep you together? Um, honestly, I, I think that that just be, being being young and playing in a band is something that we all have in common. You know, there's not a lot of young musicians, and it's we have the, the five of us. The five of us have a really odd chemistry that kind of works out together, and it's been working out relatively well for the past year. And um, Hopefully we can keep that going for a little bit. Plus we've all been in bands that have broken up and like just faded away and like we've all felt that work that we worked for yeah. with those old bands just kind of it's like almost pissed away. Yeah. So we kind of realized how important it is to stay solidified in a group and keep the members and just keep building the chemistry. I think that's super important with a band. It's good. Well, and just like the pro the amount of progress this band has made and a little over a year is more progress than I know all three of our bands combined have made as long as they lasted like I've been with him for about five years and I've been in a band with him and we were together for about almost three years and we went nowhere near as far as this band has gone yeah and it's pretty amazing to see so what's in store for you guys for 2013 well, we're back in the studio right now, probably making another EP. We're actually in the process of recording our new single right now. What's that? Super pumped. He's super pumped. Yeah. It's, uh, the new single's called Misfit Anthem. It's, it's pretty heavy, I would like to say. John, what do you want to say about it? Um, I, really, I actually really like our, our new songs that we're coming out with because they have a lot more 
um, of relatable messages and relatable um, you know, values in the lyrics. And I think they mean a lot more to us. And I feel like, and I really hope, that they'll mean a lot more to the people that listen to them. So yeah. that's that's really what we're, we're really, all really looking forward to, is, is releasing some new music and playing some shows. <laughs> Just another thing about this new music, I just think it shows how much we've grown as a band since our last EP this past summer. Like, the four songs that are on that EP we wrote, like, when we started this band. And these, is it four or five new songs? I think five new songs. They're just so much more, like, mature, I think. It shows how much we've grown as a band and as musicians and our chemistry, like, how good it is together. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. So I really have to ask, do the skinny jeans... Constrain your balls. Absolutely. Yes. yes. What is one of the grossest things you have ever experienced? And I really had to poop. I uh, took the toilet paper from the girls' bathroom, and I was like, "Dude, I gotta poop." To my friend, I wiped, but I didn't want I didn't want to hold the toilet paper, so I just put it in someone's mailbox. Do you like your meat as rare as Chuck Norris? Yes. Yes. Love my meat. Very rare. Who, who in your group is the catcher? Oh, you know, okay. yeah, Cody, Cody. I'll see you after the interview. <laughs>